Luca. I'm working for a company called Bentley Systems. I'm doing security for, well, many years. I started in teenage times. At that time it was less work, more hobby. I was consultant, pen tester for a banking group, and now I ended up in a software development company, which is somehow related with the ICS world. That's why I'm here. The main topic uh, regarding my presentation was about threat modeling in ICS. Threat modeling is commonly used in application security and software development, um, though can be quite profitable also uh, in the ICS industry. The problem is that it's not widely used, widely deployed. Industrial control system has a wider infrastructure than a classic IT system like banking uh, company. That means that we have many, a lot of entry points that usually are, we're not supposed to be there. We have the usual enterprise model from a side, but then we have things like you know PLC, appliances, RTUs, and so on. And then new threats are appearing. Like if we look at back in time at Stuxnet, it was targeting uh, turbines and PLC appliances that were supposed to not be connected to internet. Though, through some subcontractors or insiders, uh, through USB keys, the malware is spread into the, those plants. So, um, in ICS, we have plenty of new entry points that lead to many new threats. It's very important for us, uh, reliability and safety. So there are in plan a lot of controls about reliability and safety. So the likelihood of a real physical arm to the plant is lower than you know, we usually expect, though it's still possible. For example, if we take, instead of considering uh, a nuclear plant, which is, has higher level of safety and reliability controls, we take railways. Railways in Europe, for example, are using GSMR, GSM railway, which is a, a parallel mobile network used only by railways that is as vulnerable, if not even more vulnerable, than mo actual mobile network commercial ones. So what happens if you denial of service the entire network of you know, a region? you will block the entire communication of those trains with the you know, central stations, and then they will either have to shut down temporarily that part of the region, uh, you know, railway system, or figure out a way to contain that. Though, by definition, that protocol is vulnerable. So everyone knows that, but, I mean, nothing much has been done to prevent attacks. Thankfully for us, there were no attacks so far registered from that point of view, but yeah, it's just an example of ARM from a physical point of view. Technological depth that we need to pay. Usually it's used this buzzword a lot in the software development uh, or in uh, enterprise, IT enterprise. The idea is that we have some plants in some industry in ICS that are very old, so it needs to be renewed. Protocols are old, specifications of the protocols. Po protocols that we are using now were developed 30, 40 years ago, let's say Modbus. Modbus has no MUTH authentication, no encryption, so it, we need to deal with this protocol. So until we use these protocols, it would be hard for us to reach you know, a higher level. Of course, there are appliances that are, like for example, firewall or intrusion detection system that are sniffing the traffic and try to identify a malicious modulus packet. But still, we are working on that. that that's why, you know, between the private industries and the governments, I mean, we are pushing forward to collaborate to uh, reach a higher level, like new protocols which implements security as one of the main requirements of it. Besides, you know, performance, reliability and safety, now we are considering security. So regulation are improving more and more regarding, you know, uh, OT security in general. Um, we can do better. So, yeah, it's still ongoing in the path, but, yeah, I mean, I'm still positive. Lack of communication, technical people usually, as uh, Patrick yesterday mentioned in his talk, are very, it's not easy for them to communicate properly and effectively with management executives. That leads to another issue, lack of budget or time or resources. And then, of course, lack of tools. Not necessarily the, the, the tools we have nowadays can fulfill all the needs of, the real needs of security officer in the ICS industry. So yeah, we are getting there again. So in a few years, we will reach a higher you know, percentage of you know, completeness from security point of view in ICS.